Today we're working on letter H. Pull out your scraps and a music page. We're making a hodgepodge and hymn page with hinge. We need two of them. Make a hodgepodge or collage page and a music page with a hinged attachment. Not sure what I mean? <laughs> Stay tuned. Welcome to the April A to Z Junk Journal Challenge. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with day H for the A to Z Junk Journal Challenge. We're going to be making an element out of each of the alpha Letters of the Alphabet, this is our challenge for April here on the Dear Julie Julie channel. If you'd like more information, the details video is listed in the description box down below. Today we are making a hodgepodge page and a hymn page or music page with a hinge. So hodgepodge and hymn page with hinge. We're making two of them. So we're making a hodgepodge page and a hymn page or music page. So it's make a hodgepodge or collage page and a music page with a hinged attachment. So I just want to show you a couple things. I am cleaning the craft room. I am reorganizing. And look what I found while I was doing that. Um, apparently I purchased this. They were $1.99 at Goodwill. And so today's letter is H. And so they were brand new, never opened. I think this is going to be amazing for my DIY um, stuff, but I'm going to be using it right now for my alphabet challenge. Another thing I found was glue sticks. So we will be using glue sticks because I have to um, prolong the glue that I have. So glue sticks are going to live down below my desk now. And so there's glue sticks. I'm going to put one in the drawer, one up here. And, you know, I'm really bad about putting the lid on. So another thing I found was this um, set of, I don't think they're stickers. I think they're die cut, like die, just page flags, but they're not sticky. Okay, so I want, I need to make, to bake, to buy. I think these are um, unfortunately really great for this time. And so I'm going to put these with my, um, with my journal that I am now keeping, now keeping. So I have chosen some things. Let me show you. This is the page that I'm going to decorate. Okay, so from the original pansy kit. So this is from the pansy kit. If you finished your March or your spring stash buster for last year, you got this um, kit, digital kit for um, free. All of the digital kits are again on sale for 50% off in the Dear Julie Julie um, Etsy shop. So this one, it gives me this page and the flower song page. So that will be my hymn page. And I'm also, I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate my collage page on here. And that way I will have an insert um, for my journal. I have found that there are three page elements. So those are the next three things that I'm gonna do so that your pages are finished so you can go ahead and put your journal together. Okay, so this is our page element. Again, I'm using the pansies, and I have some of the pages printed off here, so I may pull some of these out also. This one is printed on cardstock because it is postcards. And there's the, um, could use that one. Um, I could, but I like, I like the plane. We'll use the plane there. Okay, so you get pages, postcards, journal cards, ephemera. I might be using this envelope. And so these are the two, two ephemera, two of the ephemera pages. Both of them are printed on copy paper. But um, there's more pages than this. This is just what I pulled out. And so um, the first thing I want to do is, has nothing to do with this challenge, but I do know that I want to make a pocket. For this page and so what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to take this and cut it. And I'm going to set it aside because what we're going to do is we're going to take this and the way that it is, um, we can go ahead and we're going to flip this. Okay. I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to just put it in like this, but I am going to add another backing to this so that it's thicker, but that will cover up this bottom down here and it will also give me a pocket on this page. I like to put pockets and things, uh, my belly bands and stuff on the pages that have um, really no place to write. And so that is something I will be adding to that page. So as you see this set up, do know that we'll be adding that. So I have some of the items. I have my stickers. I have been saving. I've got some washi tape here. I've been saving the things like we've used in other parts. Here's the gold. Um, here's the cutout pieces. I did fussy cut a couple of the flowers. Um, and ha so I, and there's more in the box so that I have them ready. There's some dictionary page. Um, I had ripped this. I was going to use that as my ruffle on another item. I have this really pretty note paper that I've had for years and I'm down to the last two. So, um, I have some more dictionary page, another one of those, um, long pieces. Let's keep those together. Uh, another part of the check register, a yellow receipt. Um, I had ombre another index card, so I have that. I have a guest check. I have this note paper. I have the all the the, the purple notes. Okay. Um, I have a couple of envelopes. This kindness is contagious, which is kind of cool. I have this little envelope also and a couple more um, scratch papers. So we're going to go ahead and let's start with our flower song page here. Then we're going to go ahead and we'll work on our, our other. Um, okay, so we have our flower song here and I think we'll go ahead, we'll use our ombre. Okay, so we have our ombre index card and this, you can write on this side. I think to start off with, um, depending how we're gonna put this on here. So you could just go ahead, use your washi tape and put that, put this on. Okay, so you could just washi tape right on to, um, the flower song so the way that i would do that let's um let's do that with something else just to show you that that is a way to add okay so we have this beautiful yeah what is this one so this is postcards or it could be part of the um mini journal for this kit or you could go ahead and cut it along and have two small pages in a journal there's so much to do with those so if I had this and I had a page and it's okay we can use another page I do like the flower song um, okay but if we go with this okay and we put it this way, like we're like we're doing that one. And that way when they're in the journal, this page will be opposite. So one of the things that you can do is you can just use your washi tape. And kind of a thicker one is, is usually better. Um, if I go up high, now yeah, we'll do it right in the middle. Okay. Okay. 
So we can just go ahead and cut some washi tape. Add our washi tape to what we're going to put down. And then add our washi tape. Okay. Is that not even close to straight? Cool thing about washi tape is you can bring it up. Okay, so let's. if we can line it up a little better. There we go. Okay, and then to make a hinge, you'll want to go ahead and fold it over and put it put the other side down as well. Okay, so that is an easy, easy hinge. Okay, of course right now this is not on my hem page or my collage page, but it is hinged and it is in there. Okay, so very very simple hinge so another way that you can do a hinge that's very very simple is using an envelope and we are going to go ahead and we're going to use this envelope okay i am going to decorate the envelope flap okay so I'm going to go ahead and to decorate my envelope flap, I'm going to use some washi. <laughs> well, that, we'll just use that on the back. Help to decorate the back of our... Really? I want more than one washi. I need to be more careful when I pull it. Oh, see, there's a, a slice. So I need to be real careful where that slice is. Okay. You just roll it or lay it down. Okay, so you can just decorate your flap just like that. Then come back, turn it over. This just gives you a way to, um, to decorate your, your envelope. And it's in the details. That's one thing you'll notice when you're, when you're making your journal. If you just do the little extra details... Um, sometimes you'll be m even more happy with your finished product. Okay, so little detail, we have a flap. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we are going to make our hinge is going to be turned into, we're going to use the double tuck as our hinge. Okay, it is a hinge element. Okay. So we'll go ahead and come down here. And add it just like that. Okay, so we've made a line here and come across. And this gives us our, our hinged element. And then we can go ahead and make two little, we have two places to tuck things in. Okay, I'm going to save that for another, <laughs> we have so many elements to do that that's probably going to come from another element. Now, to add this and actually have it hinge to our page, I am going to have it, um, it's going to hinge here okay across the envelope here but we are going to want to um, 
to go ahead and you can score this and get yourself a little bit of a, a gutter if you have or you can uh, just mark it with your your fingers get it as straight as you can you want a little gutter okay see we have that little gutter so that when we glue that down let's get the glue off our glue off the desk when we remember it's good to get the glue off. <laughs> okay so pull this down I'm gonna put my glue in this space and I'm gonna end up with a hinge on both sides of this music page okay so upside down probably the easiest way to do this is to lay this on here and bring your flap over make sure that your page is all the way in okay and what we have is we have a flap on this side and you can you don't have to flap this side you can I just ended up with extra glue your whole hinge can be um, on this side. Okay, so if we let this I am going to add this will give us strength for it as well as um, cover up any glue mess that we had. Okay, strength is always good. Okay, so there we have the, our hinged element. And remember, we're gonna be adding the pocket down here. Okay, so on this page, we'll be able to have something in the pocket as well as this hinged element happening and also things in the pockets here. So let's see. Okay, those. And one of those. Okay, so just to give you an idea, there's our hinged element on a hem page. <laughs> and um or a music page okay so now we're going to turn this over i am going to grab this i'm going to pull these out because hey there i found this out i don't want any extra happening under there there we go okay and we're going to go ahead and collage our page. So I know that one of my elements is going to require some pattern. So I was like, well, we can use some pattern in here. I have these cutoffs that I had um, done. I have the washi tape pieces down here from the last thing that we did. I do have the little envelope. I have this, which I thought would be kind of cool to put on here at some place because it will give us a place to write a list. Now remember, I love lists. I'm a lister, so um, I come from a long line of listers. <laughs> well, I know at least my mom was a lister. I'm finding, I every time I go through stuff, I find more, more places that she made lists. She listed everything. So it's been pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so I think that that will be a really fun thing to add on top of after I have my page collaged. Um, so we have all of these things that we can add to a collage. And then I'm thinking I'm going to use this as my, my pocket. And I like, 
I like this. I'm going to go ahead and just glue that. Um, it'll have, I'm going to glue it in a triangle. Okay, I'm going to put glue on it in a triangle. And um, then I'll still have a place that I can put a little tag. Okay, because I, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to use this as my hinge element. I'm going to not glue this down. I'm going to let the um, force of the side of the page hold that closed. And so this is going to give me another double hinge element. So what's going to happen is this is going to go on here. And my f I'm going to use, um, let's see, we have these two. Oh, see, now I think that that's going to look really cool over the top of the collage. So maybe we might want to add something like that. So we have another one of these. I don't know. I'll think about that. But I do know I'm going to add this as my hinge element. And then probably we'll see if this will fit. Yep. Yeah. I will trim that down just a little bit. Now the other thing is, is I know I like to take these off and probably use that as an element on there as well. So just while we're thinking about it, I'm going to go ahead and trim this down. It will just make it easier to put this in and out of that pocket. Now the other thing is, is there is a guest checks, two guest checks on the list of things that we're going to make. So my guest check, I'm going to leave it blank for in this pocket. Okay. It's going to be blank for in this pocket, but it will be, I'll decorate it um, for that element. So, so I'm going to put that back in my box and just know that there will be a guest check in there. Okay, so um, for our hinge, it looks like we're gonna have to do that. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do just, just like we did before. I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit. So you gotta do all the mechanics before you start gluing things together. Um, Okay, so we have this little spot, and that is where we will glue the piece to the page, okay? So in that little spot right there is where we're going to glue the piece to the page. And then that will come around, and this will swing back and forth, okay? So we've got our hinge figured out. Now we have to do our decorating. So let's go ahead, put this up here, and here is our page that we're going to be decorating. And so I really like the look of the line here. And I'm going to use, maybe, I put, I put books, there it is. Oh, good, good page. We'll put these in the, put that page in the book. And there's a blank one too. I like the blank pages to use them for, for things. Okay, so, and that one's almost blank. Okay, so um, using your glue stick, one of the things that happens is your glue ends up all over everything. So we've probably seen several people use a book. Um, I remember watching, I think it was Gail, and she uses the book for 
and I think it's so smart, which, you know, I don't use glue sticks that often, but when you find a whole package of them while you're cleaning and you are trying to, um, you know, oh, this would be better on top of something because you can see through it. Sorry. Yeah, I just did that. So let's start with... Um, and I'm okay so we have this this here and I'm okay with putting the whole the whole thing down I'm going ahead and filling up this so this is the receipt from a receipt book <laughs> the receipt from a receipt book center-ish. Okay, so we'll be going around it. And you can go ahead and rip the things. I'll go off the edge a little bit and come back and cut things off. Like which, you know, and then figure out which side you want to use. I think we'll use that. Oh, I We can go ahead and fold this and we'll have a good base for a tag or something there. I like that. Okay. Um, let's see, what else do we have that is colorful? Well, we have this. Have some dictionary texture <laughs> I like that I think we'll make it so that you can see texture and text So we need another little, little thing down here. How about some of this? Okay. So this needs to go down first. Oh, I like this page all by itself. Everybody can be great because everybody can serve. I think we're going to... that out. Okay, where'd it go? There it is. Okay, so this is like vellum was in my dad's my dad's stuff. So let's go ahead and put that down. And that's another one that you can see through, so that's really kind of cool. Can come up here. Extra. 
Okay, I'll come down. And then go up here. That's the bubble in my desk, you guys. I have a bubble in my, whoa. Okay. And this gives us the purple, the cool green on the edge. Oh, I like that. sure that we undo. Um, okay, so what else do we have over here? We have some more of this. Um, oh, maybe some of Some of the purple from from the pansies. Since we are using have it go off the edge so let's go ahead and we'll cut this okay okay if I Head and So let's, uh, okay, don't forget we have the guest book thing. But it also, <coughs> okay, what else do we have up here? We haven't got that far yet. Put that going along up there. And it's vellum, so we'll be able to see through it. <clears throat> Which 
which I think will be kind of cool. I can bring it down into here, but I want the I want to leave the the numbers for this list in case you want to use that as a list, or in case I want to use that as a list, or whoever is working this. Over and use this side. So. There we go. Green up at the top. So hodgepodge, just random collaging. Hodgepodge. And hodgepodge was spelled a couple different ways in the different dictionaries. can also add so I just glued pick that up and glue the edge because apparently I didn't get enough glue on it down here and go ahead and use all these little pieces Somehow we didn't end up with any glue on this edge. Now we have it. Okay.
so there's that. I do still have. Okay, so we have our somewhere. We have this big one that we can add. And we have this little one that we can add. And then we can go ahead and rip these. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and add those into those places. We do have that. We can save that for later as well. Kind of liking the glue stick. Who'd have thought, huh? Who would have thought? Oh, look at there. Theme. That's like another one of my favorites. <laughs> Start up here. Oh, this works so much better than using up um, copy paper. Use the book paper. Because God knows I have enough book paper. Don't forget to go and um, put your guess on how many uh, paper pads are in my closet. That is on the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. There is a post showing a picture. I just, my husband took the doors off the craft closet yesterday. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole new world. And... I am so, 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 so excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean this up and then get an idea of if we need more. I think I want something to cover up these little, these little goodies. So I'm going to turn this over and cut along my page. And you can, I mean, if you wanted to, let them just hang off. So this is my hodgepodge page, and then we're going to work on the hinge element after I get this where I like it. So I do have places that you can write on here, which I think is really, really cool. And, but I do want to, oh, you know what? Kaha. <laughs> Remember the washi tape that we had left over after we... washi tape perfect so we'll bring our washi tape pieces in especially since they are also part of what I am using in this and the fact that they're transparent also I really Yeah, I like this very, very much. Okay, and I'm just trying to get rid of all the kind of the straight line looks around. And I'm just using this pile of washi that was left after I made for the flap for that other element. Okay, we have one, one more piece. And I think we'll put it Got a piece under the piece. Put it right along there. Okay, so that is my hodgepodge element. Oh, we've still got this. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you carefully uh, clean up the corner edge as well. Okay. Okay, so shall we take a look here? See what we've got. Whoop, can keep that. And you want to be keeping your larger scraps because don't forget we have a snippet to make 
and um, we're gonna want our little pieces, okay? So this is, oh yeah, then we added this to the edge, so we're gonna wanna clean that up as well. And this is washi, so I'm gonna cut in a little because I don't want any washi coming out and grabbing on anything. Okay, so there is my hodgepodge page. I love it. Love it. Looks like we we need a little help here. So make sure all your edges are taken care of. And one more. I gotta find my my awesome scissors that resist resist the sticky. Gotta find my okay, so one more thing I need okay, so here's my hinge for my hem page. And so now we need that's fine. Okay, so next I need the hinge for this page. And we decided we're going to use this and we are going to glue it. Okay, so this has to go right just along that edge. Carefully. Just put a very fine bead of glue along that edge. Okay, very fine bead of glue and then I want I'm going to take my little fold right here because that's what I want the, ed the edge to sit in I'm going to pull that right up to that edge and I need it to be all in that edge because that is what is holding this one together okay So we've got this little, see that little tiny, light little tiny gutter, and we've got it set up. I'm going to come in and add my washi tape right on top of our pocket here. Now rather than gluing down the pocket, I'm using the washi tape to close the pocket because we need all of that space in the pocket to be able to put our um, guest check in there. Remember, we're going to be decorating a guest check on a different element and it will it will go in here. So there is that. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to turn this. This right here is going to be our other flap. I'm going to go ahead and do two things here. One is Put something underneath so if it glues it doesn't glue it to my um, pretty page and I'm gonna put my glue onto the flap and you can flap over whatever you're putting here um, but I really like the scallop edge of this I like the look of that and You know, it is part of that, this beautiful You guys, I've had this for so long. I've used it in scrapbooks and oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I have another page. That just makes me excited. <laughs> okay. So um, what we can do right here is packaging is a good backup. So plastic packaging is actually better. There is, so we'll put these back in the, up here. And you could back to back, put something on there back to back. Um, again, I am going to give it reinforcement with my washi tape. I 
can get it right over and I might not even have to do anything else to this page just like that okay so that's my hinge effect I have a little piece of washi up here and I can add right there okay bone folder would be good right here bone folder will just give you that extra oomph to help hold it over. So if you're still here, I am going to go ahead right now and I'm going to finish up our little pocket so that this page is finished and um, there we go. So we had a piece from the book. The book. Okay, I'm going to use this because we really are trying to use up all of our scraps and that way I'm sure there will be more. You see, we still have that guest receipt, but that's okay because we're gonna do something with that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this. The other thing that's kind of nice about a glue stick is there won't be um, the, the lines Sometimes some of the glues will change the color of your ink. All of those things. I could put this right onto that book page, but that's okay. I already pulled this out. Okay, there we go. Put it down. Okay, then we can go ahead and cut it. So this just strengthened it, okay? Because we were, we were very, very not strong. I'm gonna go ahead and rip this. Like that. And I'm gonna fold it along and remember, this is the ephemera page from the Pansy Kit. So it gives us all the little mini pages, but we're going to use it as a pocket. We'll open this. Go ahead and line up our glue. on so there you go so the page the background pages for this kit were made with Easter egg dye so two years ago Easter I after we dyed our eggs my grandkids my mom and dad everybody was here for Easter that was amazing um, we we dyed our eggs and I took the Easter egg dye and I dyed paper and that is some of the Easter egg dyed papers um, so lots of fun and something that you know you might have hanging around If you want to have me um, Easter egg dye some paper, uh oh, look what I did. Ah. <laughs> Oops, I was worried about the one side, forgot about this side. It's all good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, and then we have our guest check. And 
I know that this flower right here, this song, flower song is upside down. So I wanted to go ahead and we will add a little mini um, pocket here. And what this is, it's going to be, it's going to help with a couple of things. One thing is, is it uses up this piece. I'm not just sticking it back into the, uh, the box. But also, okay, so we'll go ahead and add this right here. And then whatever we put in it can be, instead of putting a paper clip here that will be bulky, whatever goes into this little pocket right here can help hold this close. And so it all becomes, you know, it's all part of the plan. So we can have, you know, just a, one of the pretty pages in here and see these are going to be in opposite parts of the journal so um and i am using this little guy this little thing right here throughout so um yeah so there you go so if we put our little something in here and you can see it's going to help to hold keep that closed okay so there we have our two hinged pieces and both of them we made them double hinges which I I kind of like I like that we have a hinge there and we have our hinge here and so for this one um, you know one paper clip is going to hold that hold that all together and isn't that a beautiful page and look at how these numbers ended up over here I really really love this um, you guys, I did not put a kit together before I started this. I'm putting my kit together as I build it. And um, so the items that I've put in it, I have this. I have a variety of pieces of paper that have been hanging around, have gotten added into um, what I consider my kit. We might want to put something on here just because it's going to drive me crazy. Now you could just put some washi tape there. That would be just fine. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this little definition. We've been using definition so it becomes really awesome part of the what we're doing here. And I am going to reinforce this with the washi tape here also okay okay so that just gives a little reinforcement there and i i love it I love how this is turning out. So if you um, enjoyed this, please go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I am going to be going through the entire alphabet. If you're interested in joining the challenge or even finding out more about it, again, the, the details video is in the description box down below. And yeah, so these are, we have some pages. Yay. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Are you having fun yet? Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.